Today we check out how to import 3D shapes from Illustrator into After Effects and how to animate these. All right, step one, select your text. I'm gonna make it gray and let's go to the 3DM materials. If you don't have it here, you can go to Windows and select the 3DM materials. And let's go and click on Inflate and also check this checkbox Inflate both sides. So it's gonna look something like this. You also can increase or decrease the depth if you like, but I'm gonna decrease it to zero and X, Y, Z minus 180. And from here, let's go to the materials, scroll down and here we got the roughness and the metal. Decrease the roughness, increase the metal 100% and activate the ray tracing. So the final result is going to look something like this. Now I'm gonna deactivate the ray tracing and I also gonna go to the light and here you can adjust the light. So I'm gonna go somewhere here. I'm gonna activate the ray tracing to check it how it looks. I'm gonna increase the intensity. Let's go to the file, export selection. And here you can save it to the location where you want and make sure to select the GLTF file format. Click on export asset. And now let's go to After Effects. Now take that in mind, you only can import 3D files if you have the latest After Effects. For example, mine is 24.1. And all you need to do is just drag and drop the GRTF file here, rename it and click OK. Press the letter S and scale it up. And check this out, we got the 3D version right here in After Effects. You can customize it however you like. So I'm gonna go here to the layer, open it. And as you can see, we got X, Y, Z rotation. We're gonna need the Y rotation. I'm gonna activate the stopwatch. And I'm gonna go to the fifth second. Also bring this in. And I'm gonna type in here one. So it's gonna rotate it like this. And this is how I work with 3D shapes imported from Illustrator into After Effects. Thanks for watching.